guys. Hope you're having a great day today. So I thought that I would show you what I've been using as my everyday winter foundation routine. So um, most of you guys know that if you don't, I'm going to give you a little background on my skin. Um, when it's not cold outside, the only thing that is dry on my face is my nose. And it's usually right on this, um, you know, sides. And I have fought with that my entire life. But when we get to winter, my face gets increasingly drier. And where the winter can't make its mind here in Kentucky, um, it's, I think, like 15 degrees outside right now, and I'm sitting in front of a window and feeling all of the cold air. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, I went, seriously, it's a minute to my mom's house, and I put the hood up and wrapped my face. Um, if you are on my Instagram, you've seen that already. Uh, but, uh, to come home. So anyway, um, the first thing that I do, because my face is so uber dry, during the year, I just use, you know, Clean Cauldron, Aloe Moisturizer, or Argan Oil, or whatever. So what I do in the winter is I take Argan Oil and Rosehip Oil and a little bit of Beauty Elixir from Clean Cauldron, and I mix that together, and I put that on first. Then, once that sinks in just a minute, then I slather the Clean Cauldron Quench on top of that. While that is still kind of sitting and hanging out, I put the Solar Protective Moisturizer SPF 30 Plus from Devita on the top, and then I use a hydrating primer. That has been the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Ultralight Formula. So that's where we're at now. We're going to put on the primer. So it looks like that. It just looks like lotion. I find it quite comparable to the It Cosmetics uh, Number 50 Serum, I think it is. But it, this is very lotion-y, so it just adds, it just bumps up that hydrated so. The next thing that I do is I take my Hard Candy CC Cream. I have been known to take my It Cosmetic CC Cream because I feel like those are both comparable in performance as well. And so I use the color light. Take that. And then um, you can use a liquid illuminator. You can use a illuminizing primer. I have this Laura Mercier one that I got in my Christmas package that I'm using up. So that's what I use. So I mix those two together. And it looks like that. And I just squish it all together. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> and it just becomes this color. And then I just dot it all over my face. And I just blend with my fingers. That's what it looks like. I am not a person that requires full coverage. So the next thing I do is I have a brightening mineral veil from Bare Minerals that I am using up. It's the pearl one. Um, when this is gone, I plan to pick up the pumpkin and poppy. Oh gosh, I can't remember which one it is. But she has brightening powders that are um, alternatives to the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. But anyway, so I just take the pearl mineral veil and then just any kind of flat top kabuki brush and just kind of dab. One thing I don't like when I'm using something so hydrating is to use a pressed product because I touch my face with it and of course there's hydration, you know, lotioniness. And then if I have to go repress, then I feel like it gets it goopy. Maybe I'm wrong. So then I do that. Pay no attention. I have a little friend on my chin. Um, so the next thing that I do, the next thing is I use the Pixie um, correct, uh, Correction Concentrate and Brightening Peach. And I just, I use a brush. I don't really like using my fingers. You can see what it looks like. So I just take a brush. As you can see, that does a whole lot of good for me right So the next thing I do for concealer is I use the Silk Naturals, I have a sample here, the HD Peach Concealer in 30, which looks like that. And I just take my finger, kind of put it in the places that are still kind of having darkness issues. This is by no means full coverage, it never covers everything, but I think it does a really good job consider. So, I do that. 
And then I take my little sample here of Sleep in a Jar in Light Peach. And then I take my double-sided cosmetics brush and pick up some of the product. And then I just kind of do that. Usually after that, the only other thing that I do is add some bronzer. I know that I said this is a foundation routine. Mm -hmm. um, base makeup is everything up until you get to the color makeup. So I use the uh, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Thank you, Andrea. This has gotten loads and loads of love, as you can tell. And that's it. That is my finished base makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you on the next one.